just a quick video on some fixes that you can do to help with your blender renders or working on mods or something of the like. First thing that I notice a lot of people doing when they're sharing screenshots is that their view transform here is set to filmic. And as you can see, it is very washed out. The fix for that is obviously just change it to standard and everything's good. The second thing is when you're making some renders uh, or animations, the face, when you pose it around, has a bunch of ugly normals. As you can see here, this example, this is what things normally look like, but this is what it looks like with the fix. Uh, you can pose things around and it doesn't break the facial normals, which I'll actually show you how to set up just right now. So what we need to do is we need to cut the face off of the mesh so that we can actually do a couple of fixes to it. The easiest way that I know how to do it is actually through the UV editor, not through the actual um, editor mode in here. So if I go to UV editor, we're going to go into edit mode, and we only want the part of the mesh that is part of the base material, since that's what is visually seen. So if we select the base material, do control I to invert the selection, and then press H to hide everything else, we only have the actual base mesh. Next, I'm going to hit this little arrow to do the you know, show things regardless if you have it select or not. And I'm going to get rid of the alpha off the image so I can actually see what I'm doing. So go to press N to pull this window up, change the alpha from straight to none, and we can see the entire texture without the alpha. Uh, through my experience, I am actually aware of where everything I need to select is, but as you can see, you can kind of get an idea. If you don't know where to look, you can hover your mouse cursor over the mesh, press L, and it will select part of the area. What we need to do is we need to select and cut off about up to the jawline right here. Uh, my experience, I already know that it's the entire upper quadrant here, which is all this. And if I pull it off, you can see that it is, in fact, the entire face. Next, we're going to select and, and separate by material, or sorry, separate by selection. And so we have the body and just the face. I'm just gonna name this one soul face. And we're going to duplicate that. So we have soul, soul face, and I'm gonna call this one soul face normals. Now we gotta go to the object properties and we're going to delete all of the vertex groups. And I'm going to make a new one. I'm going to call this one the, we call this one the name of whatever your head bone is, which if I recall is G underscore head underscore attach. And then select all your all the face of the normals and then hit assign. So what we're doing here is we're making it so that none of the bones of the face can actually make the body move or the, the face move. But if we move the head, then the rest of it does. Now we're going to go onto the sole face, not the normals one, which we did all that editing to. And we're going to add a modifier of data transfer. Pick the source as face normals. Turn on face corner data, custom normals, and change the mapping to topology, which they should have the exact same topology since they are duplicates. After that, we can hide the face normals from, you know, normal view, the scene, and any renders. After that, we are done. And if we move the face around, you can see that no matter what we do, it doesn't break the normals. But if we go back and we turn that modifier off, and if we move the same thing around, you can see the shadows break. I hope this helps, and you can make a lot of good renders with this.